ready, ready. Guys, what up? What up? We're doing it. We're here. We're doing it. We're rocking. And uh, guys, so yeah, we have, we have some stuff to talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff going on in our world. But first, let me introduce our guest. I'm super pumped this guy's here. Yeah, I've been boy. friends with him a while. He is a comedian all over New York. You're going to fucking love him. It's Tommy Big T Farrell, baby. Big T. What up, boys? Welcome, welcome. How we doing? Let's go. There he is, dude. We're treading water. Yeah, sorry. I was, so I was late today because I don't have a ride, so I had to get my car fixed. And then I'm like, are you going to fucking fix this shit? And I kind of got to be somewhere. Yeah. Did and they fix it or They what? fixed that like right when you texted me. And oh, I just yeah. hopped in and... <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, so uh, guys, I, uh, I auditioned for a movie recently. Like a big movie or like uh, it, it, I don't know. I don't think anything's big yet. Yeah, but it would be two hundred a day. They film in L.A. Do this, sick. and so uh, if I get it, cool. But also, if I get it, I'm gonna have to kiss a guy. Oh fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, dude! I'm gonna, have to, gonna have to make out with a guy. But yo, here, so, okay, so here's the uh, here's like the synopsis. Here's like the a make out, like tongue make out, yeah. or like, oh my god, what the? <laughs> dude, <that's, laughs> man, I'm gonna have to. Dude, that's. <laughs> <laughs> but after this ritual, then you become famous, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, then I just have four. Yeah, well, like, let me just start off by saying, okay, like, fucking, who's, uh, what's the Spider-Man's name, the new one? Tom Holland? Tom Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he just played a gay guy where he had to, like, take some back shots, and, like, really? he, he, he's taking a break from acting now. <laughs> like, no. oh, so, I think I'm... Like, Spider-Man is done acting because he played one gay guy, so, so, like... So, I'm... I feel like I'm the one giving the back shots. Oh, okay. I feel like if it's gonna get down to that, like, my character is, like, the enforcer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, the, um... The yeah. enforcer. The enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking word. <laughs> so, uh, here's the... Here's I think the, it's just called being a top. Yeah, here's the breakdown. <laughs> I am a, I, I'm a, I'm a gay guy who's in love with another gay guy. Wow! But he's married to a woman that has a baby on the way, hmm. and then I am trying to convince him to devise a plan to kill her so we could be together. Wow! Right? Okay. That was that's yeah. a pretty cool fucking premise. Is the other guy hot? I, I didn't see. I didn't see. <laughs> I, I, didn't see. I, I, I just. I was trying it. to trick you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sent him the tape. He better be hot. Yeah, fuck. He better be hot, yeah, dude. He better, he better be. I'm looking out with him. I mean, for fuck's sake now. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I know. No, that's a good plan. My, I was hanging out with an ex. This is a while ago, just in case my girl sees this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was hanging out with an ex. And, like, we were there. And I was telling my friend at work. He's like, yo, bro, you should have took a condom. You know, put like some ranch or something in it, and then try to squeeze out a little shit on the tip of the condom and put it under the pillow. Oh. So when he finds it, she thinks he thinks that she's getting fucked in the ass oh. by some dude. <laughs> she's gonna find it and he think he's having sex with either a guy or a girl in the ass, and it would just be a whole turmoil. <laughs> My friend told me this. I almost fell out of the truck. I used to work for UPS. I was dying <laughs> laughing. I'm like, why didn't I do this? You know, the the shit on the condom just really just throws a fucking curveball yeah, into dude, the whole mix of that cheating. drives it home. Because <laughs> then it's like it's like we don't even do anal, but dude. <laughs> You doing it with this guy? Yeah. <laughs> you gave it to Todd. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, "Who's the guy?" And then it's you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you fucked Big T. <laughs> that kid looks like a gigantic baby. <laughs> <laughs> Did he start shoving him by accident because he couldn't see his dick? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I'll take that as an answer. <laughs> he obviously can't see where he's shoving it. He just shoved it randomly in our ass. Yeah, but you couldn't think of like better cum than ranch dressing. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, that's what he was saying. He was on the. Floor. Like, it was yeah, there, there's like herbs and ranch dressing. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. definitely not his. He doesn't eat greens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's going on with this guy's jizz? Yeah, <laughs> this guy is unhealthy. Yeah. There's oregano in this guy's <laughs> jizz. It's probably weed. Yeah, holy <laughs> fuck. Yeah, dude, but that's it. So if I get the part, then I guess we're kissing a guy in LA. Yeah, dude, I and, mean, you gotta and, do what you gotta do. And where else? Where else of a place to kiss a guy other than L.A.? Yeah. Like, if you do that shit in Florida, you're really gay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, L I guess L.A. LA is, is like a, a Tuesday. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> as LA. long as there's a camera, I guess, you know? It's yeah. not as gay. Yeah. So, I guess we'll, we'll find out. But um, yeah, what were we talking about before? We were talking about uh, social media people making money on social media. Yeah. Yeah. I was bringing this up, you know, because I was talking to this dude, right? And, uh, like, let me set it up. So, there's always this argument. Hmm. That I see and people like get mad on social media and of course and they rant about it Well, you hear someone talk about it like why are nurses and doctors and firefighters and cops like why do they get paid less than people on fucking social media like who are just posting to Instagram TikTok you know like and they're putting out content like and you know 
maybe the content's not the greatest. I don't know who people are talking about specifically. But, like, these people obviously have a fucking lot of followers. And, like, my argument was, like, dude, if you get, you know, 5, 10 million followers, you know, and, like, you start building this audience and people are watching, like, it's all about the advertising dollars Mm -hmm. these days, right? Like, dude, like, companies don't even want to advertise on TV anymore because no one's watching it. Yeah. Dude, like, cable is, like, almost a dead media. Yeah. You know, mo- like er- a lot of people that I talk to, like they're just like, oh, I just got like Netflix, Amazon Prime, like, and it kind of like they get a couple streaming services, which equals the cable bill, and they get rid of cable. Yeah. And like you can basically pay for like no ads or whatever, but like, you know, they're raising the prices if you don't, you know, pay for the ads. Like uh, if you do pay for the ads or, or whatever, the right one. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, like this guy was like talking to me like, and his uh, his uh, his argument was like, well, you know, at, I was like, well, look at athletes, you know, like these guys are making fucking hundreds of millions of dollars, like they don't have a skill, like, because like we're talking about, you know, like like look at us, like we we work we we work with our hands, we're like a you know a trade union, and like we have a skill that like helps society you know we work on fucking boilers we give people heat you know yeah. everybody needs heat like that's going to be like one of the biggest like that's like the last thing to go like yeah. Yeah, as long as you have heat in the building like people can work you know like uh, heat and electricity right that's what we need yeah but like he's like you know athletes like they you know they have like all this skill i'm like no they're just kind of born that way mm-hmm. like you know like me i was born this way i was like six foot yeah. You know, like at best, like maybe like 230 pounds. Like if I worked like every fucking day and like sacrificed my life to work out and fucking get jacked, like I was never going to run a 4240. I was like, you know, I, I was like a pretty strong kid, yeah. you know, in college when I was playing ball. But like I was never going to make it like to a D1 school mm. or like the NFL or anything. And, uh, He's like, well, like, at least these people, like, are athletic. And I'm like, dude, like, these people have a skill. Like, they were just born good looking and yeah. funny. Yeah. And, like, they, they attracted this audience, you know? Like, what do you expect him to just, like, work a job at Macy's? That's what I'm saying. Because he's just, he's like, and it, no, it, he should be like the rest of us. Like, no, he sucks at Macy's. Dude, he's good here. You know, like, think about it. Like, more people want to advertise on Joe Rogan than on tv because rogan gets more fucking views than yeah. like the news the, yeah you know today like this is how like the society is changing and it's like people are just like resistant to it yeah you know it's like it's like when fucking like fm radio came out you yeah. know it's like am is dying and like oh like radio's dying now we're going to satellite you yeah. know like it's just a different fucking media and, like, it's just whatever people want to advertise to. Yeah. You know? And I was kind of, like, going back and forth with the guy. And, and like, I was trying to compare, like, these TikTok fucking... Because he's like, all they do is just fucking lip sync videos on TikTok. Mm. And they get, like, 10 million followers. I'm like, but, like, you don't think that's, like, a skill? Yeah. Or like, you know? Like, because I, I can't do that. I've been trying for 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like... You a, know? It's not a huge skill, but there's a market for it. That's like what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Like, you know, like, if, if people are watching... Dude, that's like yeah. that's that's all that matters. And I get it because like I, I I'm resistant to some degree also because it's like you know you're like really this is what this is what's come down to like, this is p- fucking ridiculous, but it, it is what it is. And I think it comes down to like people don't like change sucks. You yeah, know change I mean? sucks because it's always changing. So you always have to be on your toes. It's not comfortable. It's not like oh yeah. we did this thing now we're good for the rest of our lives. Like no, you always have to change. Yeah, your shit up. But, like, nature favors adaptation, you know? Like, the fucking species that don't adapt, like, Darwinism kicks out and they fucking die. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's what, like, you know, ties into my fucking boomer rant. Yeah. You know? like (laughs) You've been been on a fucking... Dude, I hate the boomers. You've been on a... I was just at a show... uh, I've been fucking, like, just yelling at my dad, like, give me the house. (laughs) (laughs) Or I'll beat the shit out of you. Like, you're gonna die, old man. Just fucking give it to me. You think you could beat up Mac? 
Uh, Doc? Doc, 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 yeah, Doc, 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 Mac, Doc, 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 Yeah, at this point, I can. You can. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like that for the last 10 years. You know, he's in bad shape. Yeah, it's, um, I was at a show with uh, Jack Simmons recently. I don't know if you ever met Jack. He's a oh, yeah, he's guy. a funny guy. And he, uh, he got into a, a huge heated rant with this fucking boomer. Yeah. And the guy was like, you're not funny. You're just not funny. I just don't give a shit about what you're saying. <laughs> like, like literally word for word saying that. And then he's yeah. just like, you know what? Then get the fuck out of here, man. And just like, <laughs> it wasn't funny. It was just a straight it's up. Like fucking you know? awkward. And then he was like out in the front of the place and the guy came out and I was like, oh, did you want? He's like, hey, it would have probably led to a fight for sure. Yeah. So Jack Simmons would have got housed. Probably. <laughs> yeah. He's a tiny dude. Yeah. He's like five, six and like yeah. a buck. 40. Probably never been in a fight in his life. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Yeah, no, he's no. not like that type of dude. Yeah, and this guy was like kind of like a decent sized boomer. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And like boomers like grew up on like the fucking schoolyard getting like bullied and fucking yeah. fighting and like playing like smear the queer. <laughs> <laughs> in different times. Yeah, dude, it was different times. And he, uh, yeah, and then I came up to him after him and I came up to him after and I was like, yeah, man, just you know, just just gotta let that shit roll off. And he's like, "Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I just fucking couldn't couldn't get past him." Yeah, and I was like, it you, happens, dude. "I was like, you're probably like, you're probably like the ideal image of like what's wrong with millennials to that guy." Oh, for sure. Like the way Jack Simmons sure. looks, like that's just I was like, yeah. Yeah, he definitely hates you. But, but what I was gonna say, hold up, what I was gonna say, um, going to uh, like like TikTok people yeah, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, Hawk Two Girl, yeah, is uh, Hulk she's kind of she's kind of going on her Spit down on slope now. It's going down again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk Two, <laughs> yeah, again, yeah. again. But uh, yeah, and people are starting to get annoyed by her, you know, because like once she blew up, she like got management. Yeah, you know, and I thought that was like a good move. You yeah, know, like, yeah, she couldn't do that all on her you own. Know, she, no she, fucking way. Like, I heard her uh, some clips on the Whitney Cummings podcast, mm. and um, it was kind of funny, you know, because um, she has a huge crush. Like, they asked her who her, like, celebrity crush was, so they called Matt Reif. And really? so, yeah, so, like, you know, Matt Reif was on FaceTime, and, like, uh, you know, they're talking. And, yo, she straight up just admitted like yeah dude like my mom my mom's not around she's a crackhead like i'm a crack baby yeah you know and it was like it was a funny moment you yeah. know but like she's a fucking crack baby like yeah. she wouldn't know what to do with all this fame yeah. you know it's uh but then I, I she's like right when i was like okay that's just a girl who's having fun with her friends and right like she you put a mic in her face and she's like all right fine i'll just say some stupid shit and right. then it blew up and then it's like at the end of the day, she's a small town southern girl right. who's like, I mean, they 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 paid her like twenty five G's to just appear at the Ugly Duckling in Long Beach, yeah. wow. just be there. And she, then like, yeah, it's a crazy world if you're coming from like I don't know, like Pilot, Virginia, you know, <laughs> like that's a yeah, you know, that's pretty wild. Yeah, it's crazy. So I was like, you know, everyone who's like fucking fuck this bitch, I'm like, give her, she's probably a sweet girl. Like, yeah. just give her some, you know, give her some slack here. But um, yeah, it's it's. But you do need somewhat of a talent, you know what I mean? Like she's got to, like yeah, be a, be like a yogi person. Like that's a big thing on Instagram, right? Like just be like yoga person, I don't right? Know, you know, you know, because I've seen a lot of these people come and go in comedy where they done something else that was like gave them some sort of fame. Um, like off the top of my head, fucking Mick Foley, yeah, um, the fucking Vinny from the Jersey Shore, um. There was a guy from the New York Giants, uh, like a left tackle. Um, there was like, you know, these guys, like they, you know, they lose like the thing, you know, that they did, you know, because it's just over. It ends like naturally, you know, yeah. like the, the left tackle's career ended, you know, Mick Foley got old yeah. and then they try to do comedy and it's just like doesn't work out well. Yeah. The guy from the Jersey Shore, I thought did it the best. Where he just would like host the show and put on funny comics and like the show would go well. And then at the end, he would just like talk about like stories from the Jersey Shore. Yeah. And people like ate that shit up and he made some money, you know? But like, you know, like Hawk to a fucking girl, like, is she coming up with like, an hour special no you know like could she even like probably be, you know be, she'd have to hire like some writers and shit it'd be real know? rough and even then it'd be real real yeah because like i i don't want to call her like fucking talentless but like she had like one funny moment 
Yeah. But like, you know, there are like some fucking social media influencers out there, like, you know, fucking models, like who's the one big girl on fucking TikTok? Um Madison Beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like blow she blew up, dude. Yeah. She fucking has like, you know, 12 million followers on TikTok. Like now she's like singing and touring and shit. You, you could tell like just her cuz I've seen her on like like ridiculousness I think she was on or like just yeah, like shows maybe. like that. Yeah. And she, you could tell she knew how to like work like work a crowd. She's like I'm right. here and I know how to like just work this personality and you could tell she like she got it. Like yeah. some people don't get it. You know, know some some and and like that's my whole argument like you know some people are just born with that shit. Yeah. You know like 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 the athletes, dude. Like some kids are just born really fast, really strong. Like they don't have to work out as hard as other people. Yeah. Some people are born really fucking smart. You know, it's unfortunate that fucking doctors and teachers have to go to school for seven, eight years, yeah. go into a huge amount of debt, and then like not make that much. Yeah. You know, like teachers are fucking important. But America has not been putting the focus on education they keep stealing from the department yeah. of education so it's like no one's fucking advertising in a classroom yeah but like madison beer's fucking tiktok she's promoting products yeah and people want her selling their shit and she's super gorgeous so everyone's gonna obviously exactly so people are paying attention and they're fucking getting the products in front of people <laughs> because less people are watching like fucking tv Less people are even watching YouTube. <clears throat> They're used to a minute and 30 second videos. Mm. And like that's where society's fucking going. Yeah. It's unfortunate. But it is what it is. But it is what it is. And you got to fucking adapt or that's it. Like if you want to be in that sort of business, yeah. you know. It's funny. We were talking about fast. And uh, when I was a little kid, I was like a, like a real serious track runner. We were on like a, like a four by 100 like relay team. And we were good. We always make it to like states and shit. And then I remember one time we could never make it past like, I think it was states level because we kept coming against this team and that they were fast too. And it was like, we were like neck and neck with them, like the whole race. And then every time we got to like our anchor, which is the last guy to run, our anchor was fast, but they had this, this fucking kid. First off, he looked like he was 25 years old. <laughs> he was so fucking fast, dude. This yeah. guy just... Like, he just blew our guy out of the water. And right. I, I just remember looking at him like, that guy will always be faster than me no matter what I do. And right. And that's just what it is. Like, right. It, yeah. What, it, what Dude, lot. like, the Brickishaw Ferguson, right? He's a Long Island guy. I played against him in high school. Yeah. I was never going to be stronger than the Brickishaw Ferguson in my no, life. No, not a Like, I, it's just fucking DNA. It's how you're born. And sometimes people are just born into shit. Like, Elon Musk, he was born born into a family where his father owns like the fucking emerald mines in South Africa. Yeah. He was always going to be richer than me. Also, he he's just way smarter than any. Yeah, he's a very smart guy. He knows what he's fucking doing. I think he's kind of an asshole, hmm. but like he's, you know, yeah. He's he's making moves out there. You know, he lost a lot of money recently on TikTok. Yeah. I heard like 16 billion recently on TikTok. I mean Tesla. Um but like you know, He's he's got some brains where he can fucking do it. Like, dude, even someone as stupid as fucking Paris Hilton. Yeah. Like, I think her, her parents like cut her out of the will when that sex tape came out. Yeah. She ended up making three hundred million on her own. Yeah. Off that dumb personality where, that she put out, and then when that ended, she became a DJ, and now she's successful. Yeah. Like yo, know, like some people are just born into it. They get they get more money. Like you know, like unfortunately. You know, like, I don't have the name. Like, dude, like, look at, like, Greg Giraldo Jr. Yeah. Dude, he's born into, like, like comedy nepotism. Or the kid, uh, the, the guy from The Boys, um, the guy who plays Huey. Like, his yeah. parents are fucking famous actors. Yeah. You know, so he's born into that world. Like, some people just fucking have that. Mm. It's unfortunate, but that's, like, where we are, you yeah. know? It's, um... Did you ever, Tate, did you ever, like, come across someone where you're like, I'm never going to be as good or as athletic as, like, as, as this fucking guy? Oh, no, I never think someone's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, I'm like, I could just fucking hit him with a fucking crowbar on his knee, like Nancy <laughs> Kerrigan. How much better than you now? Crying on the floor, yeah. little bitch. You know what I mean? But it, it, it does come down to genetics because there's a high percentage of 
major league players, not all of them, but Sons, yeah. Griffey Jr., Kobe, this guy. Yeah. The fucking hot chicks, like crackhead Tui, t- whatever her name's, aside. Yeah. You know, her mom's a crackhead. I bet if she wasn't on crack, I bet you she was hot. The other girl, her mom yeah. was probably hot. Probably. You ever see a girl like, oh, damn, her mom, that's where she gets it from. Get right. it from her mama. Yeah. Genetics. Yeah. And your friend from work, tell him to go into a dressing room and JC Penney's and open his asshole and look in the mirror and see what his asshole looks like. Because <laughs> I, there's a level of cuntiness. The how do you go up? You go in the bathroom, she opens her ass cheeks and looks at her pussy and asshole like, I'm going to be even more of a cunt today. Look at that thing. Look at that specimen of cunt right. in the mirror. And your friend probably has like a disgusting asshole working, putting in boilers and nothing against that. But you're like, yeah. why do these people get money? Because your asshole is disgusting. You don't even have a bidet. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you expect people to fucking pay money to you to look at your asshole? You're a wiper in 2024. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck, guy? What the hell is this guy complaining about? It's genetic. Sorry you're on the road. Work harder. How about that? I, I Work know. fucking harder. Dude, it's fucking crazy. Sorry. Fucking Dude, God, like that. Go look at your asshole in the mirror and JC Penney's that you're looking for trousers and fucking look at your asshole and wonder why people aren't paying money to see it. And that hot blonde chick, I want to see your asshole. My thing, like a, a, a fucking, not like a yearbook because everyone thinks high school, but yearbook-esque. A picture of the girl, and then a picture of a pussy, and a picture of her asshole. I'd stare at these books all day. Right. You know, consensually. Everyone, hey, this is Cindy. Look at her pussy and asshole. This is right. Mary. I need to know. I just want to look at it all the time. Right. Like, that's the new TikTok, looking at girls' pussies and assholes. Dude, that is fucking The randomly. OnlyFans. Girls are fucking killing it, <coughs> you know? But let me tell you something. Also, if I was a hot chick, I would for sure have an OnlyFans. I know. I don't care. Dude, like, like that was probably the best move Karen Fian could make. Yeah, dude, like she's she's funny. Yeah, she's funny. She's dude, she's funny. She's talented. But like, yo, she got the OnlyFans, and she talks about it. like she was on um, um, Ian Fidance's, uh podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were talking about it, and she's got like fucking twenty five thousand subscribers, paying like twenty bucks a month. Yeah, you know, like, dude, if you got that, why not make money off of it? Yeah, you know. Yeah, why not? I I checked in once. You, you, <laughs> I keep googling it, dude. I <laughs> checked that <laughs> once. She went from plywood floors during the pandemic to living in like down by Wall Street. Yeah, I, I know, dude. Plywood floors, not judging her, just watching her. She was dancing like salt and pepper. I was like, oh, this is cool. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can't dance like this. And looking at the plywood floor, and now the come up, like now you I mean, owns it. Marble in, floors. Yeah, yeah. We're fucking. Uh, I was. I just remember, like, it's uh, OnlyFans is so crazy because I remember, like, remember when you were in high school and like the hot girls' nudes got leaked and yeah, it was like something dude. you had to like know the right guy to get them. Yeah. And then like you would run to someone in the bathroom, like, yo, I got someone. Dude, there was one girl uh, from my town. She uh, was on um, Girls Gone Wild. Oh man, that, that she was, was on big, Girls Gone yeah. Wild, dude. That fucking account. One guy had an account. And I think 200 kids at my high school had the password. Yeah, like, and it was just like everybody needed to see that fucking video because you had like you had to have you had to be like you had to have an in you had to have an in. Yeah. Now it's like yeah, no, everyone knows what I look like, and I also am 17. I make like like a hundred thousand dollars a year. Right, and it's like 17's yeah, a little young. Yeah, you know, I'm saying, but they, okay, <laughs> but no right, I'm we'll, just we'll, saying we'll, we'll stick with uh, 18. Yeah, 18. yeah, we'll stick with 18. Let's yeah. say 18. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. I say the yeah, wrong. Let's round shit. up a little. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not 17 not 17 not not 17 but 18 yeah yeah, yeah but you know what i mean like this like th- they just do whatever the fuck they want yeah right on the 18th birthday yeah yeah right on the 18th birthday all right guys come on now this is not not 17 not 17 <laughs> <laughs> not 17 god damn it <laughs> but like yeah it's like yeah no i make i make six figures why would i not care about like why would i yeah, think dude. that's bad I, make yeah. six, I can afford a house now, and, and I'm 18 years old. Yo, and it's fucking happens. Like, learning a trade, dude, becoming an electrician, a plumber, like, you're going to make fucking 150, 200K a year. Dude, yeah. it fucking, it's it's a good job. You're going to make more than a fucking teacher, you know? That, yeah. But that's what, like, people are upset about. It's like, oh, the teachers, they the, you know, teach the future of America, and they make so, like, less money. It's like, yeah, but a lot of teachers fuck kids these days. Yeah. You know? So, like, let's fucking calm down with that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like... I would be mad if I was a teacher and there was, like, an 18 or 19-year-old student that, like, was making way more than me. I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing being a teacher? I know. And then the teachers get OnlyFans and then they fucking get fired. Or, the, you know, the cops, they get OnlyFans and they get fired. You know a cop with OnlyFans? I did. Yeah, there were a couple cops that got fired. Um, really? You know, like there are clauses in your contract when you work for someone that, like, you need to hey. like be like an upstanding fucking 
citizen. Yeah. Did you, you know? shove that nightstick up your ass? That was state <laughs> issued. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. It's a piece of company property. It has all logo you know, on like the bottom. <laughs> Hang it out of your asshole. They're like. fucking stupid. Like they'll be in a video and they have like an official police uniform. Yeah. Like he's like, come on. Like yeah. you know, like what do you fucking expect? Yeah. But like you know, there's also a lot of fucking idiots out there that will like. Put in an anonymous tip to the school or the fucking yeah. police force and be like, oh, this person has an OnlyFans, and then yeah. they get in trouble. You know, shit yeah. happens. But the teachers, they teach math, but they never do, oh, my yearly salary divided by 10. They always do it by 12. You know what I mean? Right. Well, yeah. You're not working for two months. Well, do it by 10. You're making yeah. more money now. Honey, would you teach your kids that math, you fucking retard? Right. Did, the, did the school shooter have a gun to your head? Like, sign up now. I want to shoot you next semester. Like, no, you signed up for the job. Right. You know what I mean? What the, the porta potty clean? a job was filled so you got became a teacher like what other options did you have huh? right. you fucking shithead you signed up for this you know what I mean right. like what am I doing here I don't know but you went through the process of applying online like I don't I know. know and you <laughs> know what I think a lot of it is retard? is just sorry. like sorry, sorry. Uh, no dude don't apologize We're, we don't apologize in this podcast yeah I already look like a fucking pedophile <laughs> <laughs> now I look now, no. now I look bad uh, dude, this is, this, this we've is, apologized a couple times yeah, yeah, but like yeah. this this is, we're not saying anything fucking out of, out of a turn here I have already agreed that like this will probably end my career yeah dude it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> that's just uh, yeah no but it's like I mean yeah, it's definitely that's fine will. everything's yeah. fine yeah we're not bad um, dudes no we're, we're good people and uh, f- you know fucking but like normal people I think this is where it comes from. There's like a jealousy. It's like the lottery dream. You know, it's like, why am I not a millionaire when all these other fucks are? You know, like, why is this dumb kid who could barely pass college in the NFL now making 200 million over fucking four years? You know, and like people get jealous of that. And it's just like, yo. Shit happens. Like, the only thing that you can really do in this fucking life is just try to give your kids a better life than your parents gave you. Yeah. And that's just all fucking people want to do, you know? Like, um, you just, like, generally, generationally, like, move up like a modicum of fucking money, you know? And then hopefully fucking next generation moves up a tax bracket. Well, that's that's the attitude that's going to get you nowhere in any job. We're just like, why is this happening to me? Why isn't this happening to me? It's happening to him. Why is my life so bad? You got to stay in your lane and stop comparing yourself to other people. No, that will drive yourself insane if you keep doing that. Dude, I, you know, it kind of happened to me with comedy. Because me yeah. and fucking Anthony D. Domenico, and we were kind of like frenemies the whole time because we started comedy on the same day at the same open mic. So then it was like, you know, he started getting spots at the club before me. And I'm like, why, why is that happening? You yeah. know? And then like, you know, he started going on the road before me. And I was like, why is that? You know, what the fuck? But then I was like, why am I comparing myself to anyone? Like, let me just fucking, you know, yeah. like Mick Thomas actually gave me a lot of great advice. We had him on the show. One of the funniest episodes, I believe. Yeah. And like, dude, I just fucking started staying in my lane and stopped comparing myself. Like I got a unique, unique situation and we all do. You know, yeah, it's so, uh, yeah, you can't, you can't fucking compare yourself. You know, I did it once in like the beginning of comedy. Yeah, dude, I think who. everybody does. I'm not gonna say who because it was I'm friends with the guy, but yeah. for some reason, you know, he just he popped and I didn't, and I was just like, and yeah. I just I started like just, I don't know, like I, I, I was looking at comedy, like I, just, I, I was annoyed at it, and I was like, don't like because if you're annoyed at, it, then you're gonna stop doing it. Yeah. So I was like, and I took a step back, and I like, I, I didn't, I wasn't grinding. Was it Tim Dillon? Because no. I got him, I got annoyed when Tim Dillon blew up. No, I was, it wasn't. You Tim know, because like, I, I kind of came up with Tim Dillon, and like, I was running the, the open mic at the brokerage, and like, yo, like the guy used to like hit me up, like asking for spots you know like i was established more on long island and then what he did was he took a fucking risk that i never did he moved to brooklyn Mm. he fucking started like working just at the creek in the cave which was at the time one of the hottest clubs yeah started a podcast started getting successful and then he fucking you know he worked his ass off he did work his ass off, dude he worked his ass off and he kind of deserved it he's funny and like you know but like it's just like, well, oh, man, why didn't that happen to me? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I did heroin for ten years. Yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's like, that's, yeah, you, you know, like Tim, really. like Tim Dillon, like he, I mean, he fucking did crack for a while too, but like he, uh, but he still did his work. He stayed, you know, he <laughs> stayed clean. You know, like there's there's people like that I, you know, that I get jealous of. Like there's a person that like I came in 
um, to like, you know, a self-help group at the same time. What like, and he stayed clean for 10 years and like I was in and out for 10 yeah. years, you know, like, and it's like, that's was like ultimately my decision. It's, you it's, it's your, it's, it was your journey. And yeah. That's just what it is. It, and, you know, it happens. Like, yeah, you but know, that, you probably have, I've heard, I've, I haven't seen you perform in a while, but the times I have, you had good material and. If, if it's just good, make that 10 years great material. Because, you know, there was no follow your dream with comedy. I think it will get a job at UPS. You know, right. and, and I was drinking, abusing Coke, ex, everything, not heroin. Right. But it was my other, my other choice. I couldn't oh, get dude, out of my own way. You should way. try it. It's awesome. Uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, but I, I talk about all that. So the 20 years that I was out fucking partying, you know, we, we got to take, all right, I got to take that and make that my gold now. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I we're a little late. I, yeah. I think the crowd responds better than if you're talking about uh, like oh there's a big difference when you're going on stage and you're talking about like oh I get fucked up oh I do this oh I do that it's like okay the guy parties hard versus oh I used to do this oh I used to go out and do that then it's like they have a, a more found respect for you you know and I, th I think it, the set goes better the set yeah goes redemption better. stories people will eat them up you know what I mean yeah they do yeah. be here Whatever you went through, I went through. Let's let's make it fucking funny, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, I, with, like, the recovery humor, like, I did notice, like, I, because, you know, like, you start writing what you know. So, like, when you're in and out of, like, like, NA, AA, stuff like that, and, like, you know, in and out of rehabs and detoxes and stuff, you know, like, you want to tell your story. Like, I ended up, like, having, like, a 10, 15 minute recovery set. Yeah. And then like, I started noticing like normal crowds on long Island. It like their buttholes would clench up, you know, Be and then I realized like, Oh, well long Island got hit really hard with the opiate like yeah. epidemic. Yeah. And like, there's a lot of people out there that maybe not have done it themselves, but some, they lost a family member or like they're, they have a family member currently struggling. And I was like, fuck maybe i shouldn't talk about this for 15 minutes yeah you know like i had to cut it down to like maybe five minutes but because like i was like hammering at home and like i remember something like a comic coming up to me and was just like yo we get it you do heroin <laughs> i was like okay like <laughs> you're right like maybe i'm talking about it a lot you know because it was like on my mind you know yeah so then like you know i challenged myself and i was like okay i'm gonna fucking start writing other jokes you know what i'm saying and like you write about like your current situation so like i got clean and then i started writing about different shit that i was doing you know like fucking yeah. like you know dating a single mom now you yeah. know like uh like shit that happened like at work you know like i'm, I'm trying to write different mm. but uh you know i always feel like you write what you know yeah you yeah because yeah, it's true it's true to you yeah so. and it hits home better like when you go up and you start telling what i call like jokey jokes mm -hmm. you know like like fucking like one-liners like it works for some people you know like um like stephen wright you yeah. know like he would just go up and tell like one-liners and he's fucking brilliant you know but like i always wished i was one of those guys <laughs> yeah dude like it would be a lot easier if i could just yeah. come up with like a fucking joke that meant nothing to me and tell it <laughs> yeah but like you know, like i what i personally noticed is like i do better on stage when i'm kind of like opening up and showing a little vulnerability yeah and then like you know people like connecting with people yeah it's uh yeah I wish I, I feel like those guys walk around and like just jokes just like doo -doo 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 -doo, they just like come to them yeah and then me like I like we us we all are the same we like we have to like live a certain type of life yeah and then get stories from that life and then yeah. it's like it's like yeah it's just I feel like I don't know I'm not I'm not a jokey joke writer but like it seems like that's like an easier right way I and don't know you I I would probably like you said when the comic said hey we get it you did heroin. Like I, I don't even know how that would feel because I was hanging out with some comics recently and someone was like, "All right, all right, Tom, we get it. You used to work for UPS," and I felt like shit. You know what I mean? Let alone Good, like, you did heroin. Saying. I'm like, well, man, I'm I must be talking about UPS. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. And it, like, you know, like, 
I see it with other comics too. It's just like you see it with some people. It's just like we get it. You're fat. You're trans. You're yeah. gay. Like you like the, the, when your whole act is I'm about not trans. it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, you I'm were. Sorry. Oh, that's my bad. I misgendered you. I thought you were like uh, they them LLC. <laughs> LLB. <laughs> <laughs> Limited liability corporation. <laughs> it's uh yeah no man. I remember there was one time I was new and I was uh I was up and I was doing my set. I was like new new like two years in new, so like it had that like that that like sound to like I'm doing a set like it didn't sound right. Like, That's what I'm saying about the jokey joke. Like yeah, yeah. I'm doing comedy. Yeah yeah you but know. It's, so like I was new and whatever, and this chick in the front row was like, "You're trying too hard." And oh. I, and that just like Ugh. that like stabbed me. It, that cut me in half. Dude, I couldn't, I hate co- like I couldn't come back comments. from that. I was I like, hate it. I was like, oh, you're right. I am trying too hard. Dude. If the rest of the set was fucked, I was, know. I man. just couldn't come back from it. That's just a couple of words, and it's not even like me. Like you're a fat cunt. It's like. No, like any sort of like, oh, you're trying too hard. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Almost like when someone's like, oh, it must be nice. You know, like, right. yeah, oh, yeah, you're trying yeah. too hard. It's like, just, it, it wasn't that mean, but it, it gets you. You know yeah, what I mean? Because like, it was like, it was so mean that it didn't require a curse. Dude, I, I used to do this joke, um, and I would just like start it off with like, oh, yeah, I was having sex the other day. And dude, every, fu- like, without fail, there'd be like some fucking car mechanic in a crowd that'd be like, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude, I had to fucking Sorry, cut that joke out of my set. Dude, it was happening like all the time. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are there always like, mechanics at my <laughs> show? Like these fucking car mechanics. They're just everywhere. They got the same joke. Well, dude. because they, they wear the, the name badge on their I uniform. I know, dude. Usually, so they like, like to know names. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. pet boys. <laughs> those, the, but like those comebacks are, are they're so stupid, but they're unstoppable. <laughs> unstoppable. It unstoppable. ruined my set every fucking time. And, and I was you, just like. And you know what? I hate to tell you. That's that's coming straight from the boomer generation, dude. I know that's so you, exactly where it was. So you can shit on them dude, all you want, dude. Like that's what? what like lit the boomer fire in me, and like I'm ready to like <laughs> my uh, my buddy hit start me. revolutionizing my, bu- my buddy com- uh, high school buddy, yeah. not, not a comic. He uh, I was on the phone with him the other day, and we're like, yeah, we're gonna do this. Oh, yeah, let's meet up over here. Blah, blah, blah. And as right as the, uh, the call's about to end, he's like, hey, yo, real real quick, real quick, yo, guess who's asking about you? And I was like, who? He's like, fucking nobody. <laughs> 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 and fucking hung up. I was like, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah, dude. I was like, oh, Because it's a little instant gratification. Like, who? Oh, oh, so. And boom. He's right. like, oh, you cocksucker. Yeah. <laughs> it happened so quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nobody. I dude, like, some of those jokes, like, it's just, they're so corny. They've been around forever. You know, for a while, it was like, that's what she said. Until, yeah. until like, The Office killed it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, you know, there's just, like, those lines that just, like, normal fucking normies, yeah. like, yell out on, like, while you're doing your set. It's just like, dude, how you, like, it was a good joke. And I just, like, had to format it differently yeah. so that I wouldn't just be like, oh, yeah, I was having sex the <laughs> other day. Yeah. I was not having sex with a dude the other day. Yeah. It's was, <laughs> basically, basically what I would say. It's like not a guy, <laughs> guys. It's not a guy. Okay, yeah. it's not a guy. <laughs> well, I could I like, could have did like the Jim Gaffigan where I like do like two different voices. Like I was having sex the other day. What's his name? Like yeah, fucking yeah. <laughs> like beat him to the punch. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh man, that's I'm trying to think of some other ones. There, there, there's, there's like a book of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could buy 100%, the book at like yeah. Barnes and Noble. There's like Milton Burl's like joke book from like 1920. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. I thought those are just like the. I think it's because they they pertain to most people. Yeah, you know, like to be funny and like really construct a joke. It's like you really got to dive into it. Yeah, like I was hanging out with my family this weekend. They're all still out in the Hamptons, and like the joke. I was trying to just like do jokes that I would do if I was hanging out with you guys. And they were just like they were just too like I don't want to say in depth because that makes them seem like they're intelligent, but like it <laughs> it was like it, it, you had to like think about them, you know. And and like my uncles were crushing with these like stupid little things, and then I was like, oh, you just have to like not think so hard. And I think that's what most people get. Most you know, that's like kind of what it is. So yeah. it's, it's um. And I was like, fuck, I can't beat these shitty fucking jokes. <laughs> I know, man, and, and like. I'm not a crowd work guy. I don't like it because then I lose control because I'm like a fucking control freak, you know? And it's like, I'm trying to do my fucking set. 
You know, like I, I want. There's things that I want to talk about, and then like when people start yelling out, like it derails it, yeah. and then like I don't uh, get to accomplish what I want to accomplish, and I'm not getting out of comedy what I want to get out of comedy. Yeah, and so it bothers me, you know. But like there are some funny times that like it happens. Yeah. you know, like I was telling the story like before. You know, I think I brought it up on on one episode too. Like the last time I did Mandy Jones' show, like there was like fucking boomers and we just started having like this interaction. Yeah. And like I was like bombing, you know, and I, I fucking like, I hate to sound like this, but like I feel like I don't bomb often, mm. you know, like I have my set. It's been like tried and true for fucking years. So it's like, this is what I'm talking about. And like, I know the jokes hit, but like, Dude, I was bombing and I was like fucking like and I started melting down and then I fucking yeah. like had the interaction and it kind of saved it. But like when I'm like doing well and someone starts yelling out, dude, yeah. like, I fucking hate it. When you were doing drugs all the time, do you think that type of life clashed with your control freak type of life? Yes, because like. Dude, like, you, you start building, like, a spider web of lies. Yeah. You know, and you start, like, lying on top of lies on top of lies. And, like, mm. then, like, someone just pulls at the thread, like, just a little bit. And, like, the fucking sweater unravels, you <sighs> know? And it's just, like, then you're just, like, constantly, like, fuck, 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 fuck. How do I get out of this? Yeah, because that's, that's the most not controlled. Dude, like, like uh, there's one time this fucking, like, guy that was, like, high up in my union. I was uh, I was talking to him. And he's like, hey, Hugh, you all right? And, like, this guy's known me, like, since I was a kid. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just tired. He's like, yeah, I used to have to pay to get that tired. And oh. I was just like, oh. I was like fuck. Duh. I am not hiding this well, you know? Because <laughs> oh, I used to Christ. think, like, no one could fucking tell. Like, yeah. no one, you know? Because there, there is a time where, you know, you're, like, new to it, and no one yeah, can fucking yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. But then you get more into it, and yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. like, no. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, yeah, Hugh's really sleepy. All, <laughs> like, he's all the, the sleepiest boy. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> I had the, I, mine was Coke. Yeah. And it'd be February. All over my face, because yeah. I'm doing it like a fiend. I know. Dripping sweat. Yeah. You know I, mean? I was yeah, also selling yeah, it, so yeah. people kept bothering me. Like, there was no hiding it. <laughs> you know right, what I mean? Like, right. that, that's what, that's what, it, come, that's what it comes down yeah. to. It's like, yo, why is he wearing a sweater in August? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, it, it fucking, like, people start asking questions, and then, like, you know, you're like, oh, you know, I'm just like, I like the flu or whatever, you know? Like, I, it, I always said that uh, the winter was the best time to be a cokehead because you have a reason for the runny nostrils. Yeah. Right, right. And, you know, you know, I'm sniffling and it's August. <laughs> They're like, what's going on with you? Sniffling with no shirt on in February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm fucking <laughs> dripping sweat. Like, it's like, why is Big T always talking about Al Pacino movies? <laughs> <laughs> I, I make a joke, like some neighborhoods, I don't I don't really perform in Long Island at all, but like yeah. certain parts like Queens or Rockaway, I'll, I'll start talking about Coke and they get tight. I'm like, yo, right. some of you don't even lock your doors but have keys in your pocket, so stop with the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. And then they ease up because yeah, yeah, he yeah, knows yeah, the yeah. party. And he's the seller, dude. Yeah, yeah, right. you, you know what I never got? Like when you, you, know, you start talking about drugs and it's like an older crowd, like a boomer crowd, yeah. and, and they start pulling back. It's mm. like, dude, you grew up in the 70s and right. 80s. Right, 60s, 70s, what, you know? What do like, you mean you don't know about this? Dude, dude like that, you guys that was, used to party. That was you, you were around when that was what the world was doing right so like what do you mean right that's why like do you think like do you think like you become like a crotchety old boomer or do you think that's a thing of the generation like do you think that's that's just them or do you think that's like a slow death that's coming for us all well i think like every generation has like their two uh like uh, maybe two but mm -hmm. like at least two there's like two fucking like I, I think we might have talked about this like the, the other day, but like for millennials, right? Like back in the day when we were growing up, there was like two types of people. There were the fucking like the jocks and like the attractive people 
and like the athletes that would like be out partying, drinking in fucking sumps and playing sports. Yeah. And then there was the people like the emo kids that were online making weird fucking videos. But like now because they're online, they get remembered. Like back in the 60s, you had fucking normal people that would wear suits to work and like, you know, just drink scotch when they got home and smoke a lot of cigarettes. And then you had the fucking hippies. And like because the hippie like kind of blew up and like had Woodstock and like a lot of memorable shit. People are like, oh yeah, the 60s was all sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah. It's like, no, you still had that fucking workforce of yeah. those people that were like, those guys are fucking weird and need to be arrested. Yeah. You know, like our generation has it too. Like you have like the fucking, like at this point, like it's like you just have the, the left and the right. Like everyone's just like fucking hyper political right now. Mm. And like it's, I, I can't fucking stand it. But it's just like you have like the left who's like really laid back, fucking, you know, yeah. more into like fucking like experimenting with drugs or, you know, but their bodies or getting fucking surgeries or whatever they want to fucking do. And then you have like the right that is just like, no, we need to fucking like uh get back to like being a hard working you know yeah country and like stop all this crazy mentally ill bullshit that the left is doing yeah and then like the you know left's calling the right the nazis and like you have those two different types of groups it's not like the whole generation is doing the fucking same thing yeah that's true yeah. i'm just happy I'm, i don't i was sort of taking notes and i'm like no no, no don't listen to what he's saying not yeah. Just anything political. I don't know that. Yeah. I don't right. know left, right. Like I always talk about, like I like good battles, not left, right. I like black and white, classic. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> Sativa Indica. Like you know what I mean? Like Met Yankees. Like come on, ooh, ooh, ooh this other shit. It's like it's too much. I, it makes it makes me so happy. I used to feel embarrassed that yeah. I wouldn't be able to talk with this, and I'm like, no, no I'm the small one now. Right. Now yeah. you see how as you get sober, you see. You know what I mean? When I was drunk, I was like, I didn't even know what, about conspiracy theories. Now I'm sober. I'm like, hold on, this is old. You, the the yeah. math starts adding up. Like, this a lot of stuff make... is fucking yeah. like I got some questions, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's what it's like. I want to find out. I, was like, I just want to sit like in a fucking press conference and be like, go to like the president, and be like, I got some fucking questions. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else needs to shut up. You know. What uh? So n now that you're, um, you know, you're not doing hard drugs anymore. What do you like? What do you do? You have any other vices or stuff like that? Do you just you uh, smoke a ton of cigarettes? Gambler, and, you know, edibles, weed. Yeah. Dude, I remember me, me and him were on a show once, and he's doing these like twelve team parlays. Oh yeah, oh, and yeah, I was yeah. like, Tommy, you, like, there's no way you're winning that. And it was at this weird like weed show. We're all bombing, and I'm on stage, and I'm just eating shit. And I was like, all right, like, I just you know, like, what I got like four more four more minutes. Let's just get through the set. And I hear him in the back like, oh, oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, Tommy definitely just won one of those things. Yeah, yeah. And he won like 42 grand. Oh, yeah. my God, dude. That's fucking awesome. He's like, I'll buy you a drink. I'll buy you 42 grand. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm going to do another team parlay. I'm like, Tommy, no, no, no. Don't. No. <laughs> just walk away with it. <laughs> I probably gave it all back. That's my. Nah, I dude, go, winning's easy. Dude, Even like, back I, is yo, ga ball. gambling's tough, man. Like, uh, you know, they teach you in like, you know, like those programs that like, the disease manifests in other ways. So like the two of the biggest things that bring addicts to relapse are gambling and sex, you know, because like yeah. you start fucking really getting into like that, you know, like it's yeah. like, what else can I do to get out of my head? You yeah. know, because that's what it comes down to. Yeah. You know, like you're drinking to get out of your head for a night. You're fucking, yeah, yeah. you know, you're doing hard drugs to like just numb yourself for a night. Yeah. And then it's like, well, when I'm having sex, I'm not fucking thinking about all my problems. Or if I'm gambling, like I'm focusing on the games. Like I'm not fucking paying attention to, you know, my fucking depression. So it's like that shit like manifests in the other way. And like. You know, people do it with other shit too, like the fucking gym. People start ODing yeah, on yeah. the gym, and it, like that's healthy. Yeah, but yeah. like you know, they start fucking ODing on it. And comedy you? also. Yeah, yeah dude, yeah. Comedy. comedy. Like yo, it's like as long as your fucking life is manageable, have at it, man. Yeah. You know, I think that's why you know, like crazy chicks are usually great in bed, right? Because they're you know they're just like I just got a lot of shit going dude, on. Dude, it's like in a therapy head. session for them. Yeah, and you're <laughs> like, all right, like this guy, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm gonna get the fucking demons out of my brain. Yeah, <laughs> by using your dick. Yeah, I mean, there was one time I was in college and I was talking to a chick and uh, she was we were both home for 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 break 
and she was like, she, she I, I didn't go out that night, and then she, she was out, and she hit me up. She's like, you home? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I'm coming over. And I was like, all right. And then she came over and dude literally like fucked me into the earth. Like wow. to the to the point where I mean I came like real quick. <laughs> 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 and and like after I was like, Are you okay? Like what's what, did something happen today? She's like, It's fine. And then like just oh, put, a shir- well, put a shirt on and just dude. left. Yeah. And I was like, you, and I texted her like, You sure you're all right? And didn't answer. I didn't see her again for like six months. And then like, yeah, but she's always had this like one like, of those, the, the, you yeah. know, those eyes where it's like, what's what's going on? Like, yeah. you think you're thinking about something yeah, right it's now? Like, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah. But I was like, yeah, that's that's probably that's probably like a getaway for her, you know? Yeah, yeah. dude. Like, yeah. That, dude, it happens. It's just like getting out of your fucking head and your body yeah. just for a couple minutes. <laughs> no, it's just she needs something to remind her of her uncle Steve or whoever yeah. touched her at Thanksgiving <laughs> in '92. I'm not. Whatever. I'm not Steve. <laughs> Steve's gone now. He, he, you're safe. Steve's in jail. You're, lo- you're, you're okay. Loved. You're loved. Steve but, is in jail. But um, you like. I don't know if you smoke weed or not, or allowed to say it on camera. I'm not. I I smoke weed, though, but yeah. I just say like a lot of the programs. I never did it. I just I had enough. You right. know, I'm hundred grand in the hole from legal fees, and getting arrested, like just yeah. they're living in a, making a hundred grand UPS yeah. felonies on the side, and living in an L shaped studio. Nothing against L shaped studio, but when you're making a hundred grand a year, but paying fucking lawyer uh, loans from yeah. your mom, like from getting arrested, like you just had enough. Yeah. But like the idle hands. Like, if I ever make it to a point where someone wants to weed sponsor me, that's going to be the name. Because, like, there's some people that say, oh, if you're a recovery, you can't smoke weed. Hold on. You just took something away that was my whole life. And just now just go sit here and watch Seinfeld sober. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no. How about eat an edible, smoke a joint? What is that going to lead to? Fucking Papa John's? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you start going off the deep end from smoking weed, you know what? Maybe you deserve to go off the fucking deep end and, and do some other shit because that should be helping you get off the... Like yeah. when people had a pill problem, I make edibles. I'm like, here, you know what? Eat six of my edibles. What is that going to do? Right. You're not going to be able to get up and go outside to get those pills. You're going to be like this on the fucking couch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, let's, how about, well, fucking, let's, let's try everything except going to get those pills or whatever right. the fuck it is. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I, 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 that's my fucking hill I'm dying on about it's, the idle hands. You know no, what I mean? No, like, but see, that's, that's true. You're all... You're all some people right can do course. that, you know. There are some people, but um, <clears throat> you know, from from my experience, I can't, you know, because it's not the feeling that I'm looking for, mm, you know. Gotcha. It's like once I hit, like, like the opiates, you know, because I started trying like the painkillers, uh, not like trying them, but like I I got prescribed them because I got beat up, you know, I got my jaw broken. I remember that. Yeah, so it was like. That's that's how and then when I was I had my jaw broken, I had cuts everywhere, wired shut fucking teeth, eaten through a straw, and I remember that as some of my happiest memories. Yeah. Like I found that shit and I was like, This is how I want to feel for the rest of my life. You yeah. know, like it filled that fucking god hole. Hmm. You know, like you ever watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Yeah. You know, Dennis Reynolds talks about like the God hole. And he's like, some people fill it with fucking drugs and alcohol and gambling, like whatever fills that fuck, you know? And he calls it that because like some people just use religion and like that, yeah. that's what fills that fucking void. But for me, it was like once the opiates hit, I was like, oh, oh yes, like this is what I want. So then like when I tried to like go back to being like a normal person who just like smoked weed once in a while and fucking drank beers, it was just like, nah, this is not it. Yeah. You know, like this is not it. So then I like, just like realized I couldn't do anything. Yeah, my thing is, uh, my thing is, I mean, you know, uppers. I, I just love because I'm I'm already like an ADHD guy, so I just like I like shooting myself through a fucking roof. But you can't do blow all the time because then your life goes nowhere, yeah. and, yeah. Then you, and then you just look like fucking shit, and you're not gonna get jobs, and that's just what's gonna happen. Right. And um, so now I just like drink tons of kratom, and I come in here, I'm twitching out. And, <laughs> but like it's uh, yeah, no, it's like my mom's like one vice for another, and right. I'm like, yeah. Would you rather it blow? Like, right. would you rather it blow? You know, it blows bad. Yeah, like you know, you there are like the lesser of two evils, but like you know, yeah, you could also just do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's tough. <laughs> Dude, it's really tough. I've been thinking about like if I am gonna stop, like you know, with the kratom, and like because I still drink, and I, but I'm like I'm really thinking about like because the last this last weekend I was drinking, and I was like, just drinking just puts me in a weird like I'm just I'm like. I'm just down for no reason. Right. And I'm like, why even why even do that? You know, why like what's the point? Right. And so it's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna give it another try. Or I'm gonna do it. 
but, right, uh, dude. And you know, but like if it, it, like I said, as long as your fucking life isn't out of control, yeah. dude, just like you know, I'm just thinking do about, what you can. I'm thinking about filling that void with like uh, like life growing experiences. Just like go yeah. do something fun that you never did, and you could bring up a conversation. Like, oh, I was over there doing this. Do you ever try that? Right. Like shit like that. Right. So you know, like indoor skydiving. That's probably pretty cool. You know, yeah. Something like that. Or I don't, maybe that's the, cool. Yeah. Maybe getting the rock climbing. I've always wanted to do that. Right. Because when I when I when I first broke away from blow. Uh, and obviously I went back, but uh, I, I filled it with rock climbing, and it was it was cool. Oh, it was, it was cool. like you know, it's like it's, it's a jolt, and you're like, oh, yeah. like I need a jolt. That's like what it is. And um, I've only been crack rock climbing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Just climbing that rock, dog. <laughs> but yo, Travis, like, fucking kudos to you from a fall. I don't know if you ever worked out on coke, but you. Lifting looks like what a hundred pound kettlebell yeah, over your yeah, head yeah, yeah, in yeah. board shorts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like not even Nike shorts. Like we just came from the beach. Like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking so like coke. Is, I don't know. You might be on coke, but it looked like you're on crate. Or, or no, yeah, yeah. That, no, no, I was, no, not. You weren't look like on crate. Like I don't know if you can do that on coke or crate, but you're killing it out there. Thank you know what you, I mean? Like, I appreciate that, so just, man. For real. I, but take everything with a grain of salt because you, you're inspiring me. I'm like, I gotta get back towards these kettlebells. Thank around. you, bro. Yeah, dude. Board dude. shorts over his fucking head. The <laughs> bigger than my fucking head. I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's tough work, but like yeah, that's a grueling thing. Because after that, you're like, well, I kind of don't want to go out right now. Like yeah. this is fucking. I just went through something traumatic. <laughs> like this is ridiculous. But yeah, listen, both of you, uh, you, I, I know you from a, a while ago. Yeah, I yeah. Seen, but just, I'm, I'm, pr- I'm happy and proud of both of you. Guys. I'm proud. Uh, I'm proud of you. getting mushy at the end here, but yeah. I just, I'm proud. Listen, you need to hear that sometimes. You know I'm, what I mean? Like, I'm proud of you too, because you fucking, hey, you were, you were, you were. Go- uh, did I ever? Did I know you when you when you no, were no, going? No, no. No, like I, you stopped by the time you. By I time stopped. I you. S- six weeks later, started a class randomly, like just from being online. At yeah. A, a link from Instagram that someone was at. Yeah. And right. Then. And then here we are. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. dude. Dude, thanks. Yeah, for we got like five minutes. So, anything you want to plug, Tom? Oh, fucking! I know, I said I don't uh, perform on Long Island. I actually got a THC Weed Expo on Thursday, August first. I'm sure when this comes out in the Hamptons. You know what I mean? Who the fuck am I in the Hamptons? Yeah. Oh my god, like, <laughs> Tommy in the Hamptons. But he said he's gonna pay me in food and drink. Oh, so just right. you know, it's on an Indian reservation. I think that's what they call it still. But fucking, um, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be look for the cloud of smoke and someone eating all the trim cocktail. Yeah. That's me. Really? You know what I mean? So Thursday, uh, THC. Cannabis Expo in the Hamptons, cool spot. Uh, check me out and and relaunch a THC TV with Big T, new camera guy working with Grove Thirty Four. Have to have you guys on, even yeah, just to dude. cook some shit up. I'll eat it. Dude, yeah, I'll yeah. do it. I'll yeah. definitely out with that. For That'd sure. be cool. Awesome. Thanks for having dude, me. Dude, also, thank you for fucking coming, dude. Big T. Tommy Farrell. Um, so you're gonna be like blowing a dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. I may just be. It's funny. My, it's like all my Long Island friends are like, uh, like, oh, would you kiss a guy for a million bucks? I'm I like, know. I'll do it for four hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred bucks a day. Two hundred bucks a day. How many days day, in man. a row? <laughs> 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 well, just try to get in one take, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you need me to like actually bang him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd be like, all right. Well, it, does this launch my career? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I better be a list if I'm if, if I'm doing that. I know. Which Fuck. which shows you that's how far I'll go. All right, guys. Dude, that's dedication. Nah, it, it you know it's work. It actually made my my ex feel good because uh, I had to, I was in a movie where I had to, you know I was in love with the one where I was in love with the girl, the, yeah. the girl, the guy, my friend's mom. And then we have a relationship. And then you know, I was kissing this woman for three months on set. Like that was like the, that was the movie. And she was like, oh, you're just gonna fucking just going off to work to hook up with this girl again. I'm like, it's work. Like, that's what it is. And that was like the constant battle. Right. And then I told her about this. I'm like, hey, I'm auditioning for a thing where I'm going to have to kiss a guy. And she was just like, oh, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> I feel better that you're going to kiss a man. You know? I, I have to bounce roast jokes off my girl. I'm like. Oh, this guy. I'm like, oh, you probably have an immaculate pussy and asshole, but your feet are black. She looks like one of these like festival walk around barefoot kind of girls. I'm like, hey, babe, you like this one? And I'm like, always oh, talking about this girl's cunt, whoever I'm going against in the roast. And like, that's what it's supposed to do. You know, anyway. Yeah. And fucking, yeah. she's like, I know she, she's very supportive, but she doesn't want to hear me talk about the yeah, other girl's yeah, yeah. immaculate cunt and asshole. And <laughs> yeah. fucking feet. I mean, <laughs> my, my girl broke up with me because of this podcast. Yeah. So. yeah oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what it is with the podcast? It's like, like, I mean, like <laughs> we're we're saying stuff that we would most likely never say in real life, you know. What I mean? yeah. Like if we are, it's there's no meaning behind this shit, and I keep trying to explain that to her because we still talk, we're we're friendly, we're just not going out anymore. 
And I was like, a podcast, we have a wild podcast, and we say wild shit, and we don't mean it. And Dude, because like, we're opening up, too. Yeah. You know, like, we're, yo, we're just fucking trying to, like, speak honestly and, like, show vulnerability and, yeah, like, yeah. you know, life experience. And, like, you know. Yeah. Dude, sometimes it gets fucking messy, and people don't want to hear that yeah, shit. Yeah, it's like, all this is fake. These are all jokes. And, yeah. then, and then if someone says something, then you rag on me, and then I rag on you. Like, that's... That's I would like to think. I mean, what I love listening to podcasts. I like podcasts that do that. Right. You know, what I mean, when you're on the road, you do. Oh, I have a show in fucking uh, Kentucky. And I got a long drive. Right. I'm, I'm gonna just rifle through podcasts that do that to get me through the drive. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, man. Like we don't mean anything that we say on these fucking things. Unless I, I said I was People thinking about going to IHOP too. after this. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, that yeah. might be the only truthful thing yeah, which yeah. I'm probably gonna be at. Or if we're talking <laughs> about like like drug pass, like serious things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like if if we're laughing, it's Probably not true. I know. Yeah, that's like and people know, just fucking just take everything too seriously today. Yeah. It's just like fucking unclutch your pearls. Yeah, unclutch them, <laughs> unclutch them pearls. I like that. <laughs> but uh, uh, dude, yeah. I saw a good quote. I was watching the uh, uh, mayor of Kingstown. Yeah. Dude, it was fucking, it was a pretty good quote for this podcast. Jeremy Renner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, this one dude was like, no, you're not going down with the ship. And the one guy was like, I mean, what's the point of treading water if there is no ship? No, no like, dude, that, that that's us. Reference us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got a show coming up. <clears throat> Mike Keegan, uh, Mike Keegan and friends, like the one fucking show that I have this summer. <laughs> fucking come down, Levittown, right here. We'll have some fun. Uh, guys, just follow me, Trav underscore Grant on Instagram. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, can I leave one thing since you said a nice yeah, yeah. inspirational yeah, speech? Yeah, yeah. If people, you, you quote memes. I, I don't, I don't want to go over. You know, uh, no, you got it. But like. And if you're fortunate, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I say the life I leave is priceless. But I've been seeing like what to be blessed for, and people like slow mornings. Next time you have a slow morning where you're just reading the post, having coffee, or just on whatever, just a slow morning. Yeah. Just be appreciative of people having on the Van Wick or the L A Double R or this. And if you have that slow morning, embrace it. Have the coffee. You know, to, just like just be in that moment. People, say, yeah. but the slowness of that moment as life passes us by. Yeah. Enjoy those slow mornings. That's uh, what I wanted to give. I uh, the funny the, the word moment. You just said the word moment. I just got out of my uh, not just last week. I was I was at therapy. And my my therapist said because I'm like I really want to really I really want to stop drinking. It's gonna be hard. And he's like, what makes it so hard? And I'm like, because you know, there's these moments where. I'm feeling a little awkward. Or this is weird. And then I just, all right, let me just drink and just make this moment go smoother. And he's like, you need to be a student of the moment. Like, sit there and, like, just take aware of, like, why do you feel awkward? Why do you feel weird? Why do you yeah. feel, you know, like, be a student of the moment. That's and, really good advice. And he's like, you're probably going to become a better comedian and actor because yeah. you just be more aware of life things instead of just, like, you know, turn the noise up and then putting your shit on autopilot. Right, man. So be a student of the moment. Yeah. Like it. I'm gonna, yeah, try, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and lock on to that. That's that's great advice. Mm. Thank you again, fellas. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. Thank you. Me on. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Big T. Thanks for that's coming. That's it. That's it, dogs. Bye. Later.